Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video you will be able to so that every time i upload a new video you will be able to get notified and for our returning subscribers thank you so much for your support i really appreciate all of you my people you know the current situations of the royal family everything is scattered now we are told prince william refused to step up for Charles. I knew. William is something else. We even cannot finish talking of William if we sit down and talk of the way he does things. He is a very different person. It's not shocking to me. Now, in my previous video, I was talking of the way people are actually indirectly calling out Harry and Meghan to come and support the sinking monarchy. And that is basically what is there. As much as they are talking of the way, if Harry and Meghan moves back to UK and do the royal duties, it will be actually fixing their image. So my people, that was what they said, of which I told you, it's not the case. These people really want to tell Harry and Meghan that we need you and we need your support in this. But they do not want to say so directly. Now, there is William, who is refusing to do work. You can imagine how this monarchy is going to sink even deeper. So my people, you know, the announcement of King Charles' diagnosis came on. I don't know, it was actually last week, Monday. And now... After that, you know, we had Kate and William on break for some health issues. And, you know, William was actually taking just some chances to also be at that break. But immediately after the announcement of this diagnosis, I remember Harry went to UK to see his father. And on Wednesday, the same same week, Prince William stepped out for the first time. He appeared though he was actually drunk. So the palace actually briefed the media about William not stepping up for Charles and that in the coming months he will not even do some huge duties just like Kate. So that is such, I don't know which kind of laziness is this. So because Kate is actually on break, William is back to work, but he is not going to take up more responsibilities. That is what is there. But it's not shocking to me. I know the way William is so lazy, just like his wife. So these people will always be here talking of the way they want breaks and everything without minding that King Charles is sick and the monarchy needs to be actually retrieved from the situation it is right now. Anyway, my people, maybe I give you this piece so that you also get to know some information because we are told Charles will wave from the cars. He will divide his time actually between Sandringham and traveling privately to London every week for his cancer treatment. So that is something that we are told, okay, it's good for Charles to go for treatment. I even cannot comment anything on that. But what I really want to comment on is William refusing to actually step up for the duties. So we are told William remains determined to continue to put his family first with aides making it clear he will not deputize for the king who is fully supportive of his older son's commitment to his family. Just listen to that. My people, 
So the one we are told he is dedicated fully to his family is Prince William. Why does that look so much weird? My people, I don't know if you see some nonsense in that statement. William being dedicated for his family. Okay, when did he started doing so? And then we are told King Charles understands the same. Anyway, my people, you know, some things are actually making me feel like there must be something that we really need to talk about concerning William and the way he cares for people. Some people are trying to show us the way William is actually a caring father or something, but never. I will not fall for that. I know William very well. I can't lie to you. William will never dedicate himself to love his wife and then the family. No. So leave alone that. It's also written that William doesn't want to overshadow his father. He is so mindful of not being seen to step prematurely into Charles' shoes and an issue with him and Kate have long been conscious particularly with the media coverage. Okay, my people, I don't know how to comment on this because a lot of things are actually coming to my mind. William do not want to overshadow his father. These people really like using this overshadow thing. So whenever Harry and Meghan steps out, I know they always talk of the way Harry is overshadowing the king. So William is trying to act maybe so junior and not even trying to overshadow the king, not putting himself in the Charles' shoes. My people, I think at some point, we need to actually be matured enough and talk of things the way they are. Because at this moment, I personally understand Charles' situation. And for any other person who can actually think like a literate person, you will just know when such things happen, somebody like William is supposed to be taking the responsibilities for his father. He is supposed to be caring and taking those royal duties that his father cannot do right now. But he is here talking of the way he do not want to overshadow his father. Anyway, that is actually resisting the duties of the people. William do not want to work for the citizens. My people, I don't know what is your take on this story. Personally, I have said I am not shocked because William is able to do that. He is able to reject things and lie to us the way he is actually caring for his family. That is William, for those maybe who do not know his character well. Anyway, my people, that is it. Allow me to end it here, and kindly, I want you people to comment down below on your take on this, and also subscribe to our channel and like this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe my people, and also stay tuned for our next one. Until next time, goodbye.